Uh, I am uh, I am at home in Baldwin, Missouri, sitting uh, at my, my my workspace. I don't uh, I've got an office, but it, it doesn't get real good Wi-Fi in, in our basement. So I sit at our, uh, our our island in the kitchen, and it is a sea of of papers and uh, pieces of legislation and notices for conference calls, uh, a little chamomile tea, and. Uh, you know, the window's open, so the, the, the weather's been so dreary, but at least uh, I'm able to, to look at the outside from from within. I got a call, Jason, last Wednesday, late afternoon, early evening, from the um, United States House you know, Congress uh, assisting physician, or it's called attending physician, uh, Dr. Monahan, uh, telling me that on Friday the 13th, I had been in very close contact with about five members that had been working, ironically, on the, the piece of legislation uh, that we were able to pass, the second phase, the Families First Coronavirus Response Act. We'd been uh, working in kind of a close, a small room with some staff uh, closely together for uh, anywhere from two and a half to three hours. And this uh, same individual, um, um, I could say his name because he has been out in the open talking about it. Representative Mario diaz Ballard from Miami, he's one of the senior whips along with myself, and we were with Steve Scalise and the deputy whip, Drew Ferguson and others in the room working on the legislation for several hours. Mario, subsequently, on Saturday evening, came down with a high fever, uh, sick, sick on Sunday, tested Monday, got his results back, you know, within a couple of days, I suppose, um, definitely had COVID-19 and uh, tested positive. He stayed in Washington, D.C., and those of us, the handful of us that had really been in close contact with him for a prolonged period of time uh, were contacted and uh, told to go into self-quarantine for 14 days. That will extend through Friday, the 27th, uh, and uh, I can tell you now I'm on, okay, let me see. So that would have been day Friday, would have been day seven, eight, nine. I'm on day 10, mm-hmm. right? I guess so, if I do the math. Yeah. The, 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 um, uh, I'm told that the peak time after being exposed uh, is, is usually anywhere from day five to seven. So uh, no symptoms at, at this point. I've been working around the clock on legislation, especially in the financial services uh, sector uh, in that arena. And uh, I'm feeling pretty good, but uh, I'm certainly uh, dealing with a lot of constituent services issues, a lot of small business and medium-sized business issues. Um, You know, we did did a full-on financial services hearing, uh, for instance, on last Friday, uh, with all of the eight uh, eight largest banks of the, in the country, you know, the city banks, the New York Mellons, Morgan Stanley, Bank of America, State Street, Wells Fargo, J.P. Morgan, Goldman Sachs, all of them, and um, talking about uh, their liquidity, what they were able to do um, to keep our, our market afloat and to help our, especially uh, our small business owners to uh, provide for their their workers and to provide extend uh, lines of credit so that they can continue to uh, to keep their doors 